Hey, good morning, y'all. I want you to know I have had some kind of wonderful time studying the second chapter of the book of John on the first miracle that Jesus did. Man, this thing has been so good. I've had such a good time. And I got a little revelation yesterday with the help of a friend of mine, John, out in Colorado. Boy, I tell you, this, this will help you. Watch this now. I told you yesterday and the day before about how much wine it was, you know, about 52 gallons or over a couple of hundred dollars, uh, I mean, a couple of hundred bottles of wine. But boy, there's another powerful thing in that miracle. Now, the supplier was there and the supply was there, but nothing took place until somebody made a demand on it. And it was opulence. It was more than enough. But here's something that I didn't see. They needed the wine then, not six months later. And Jesus gave them the wine when they need it. But watch the power of this miracle. It takes approximately two years to make wine. I mean, commercial wine, it takes a couple of years. If you make homemade wine, it takes a couple of years because of the fermentation process. And so Jesus speeded up the process so that it took place in just a several minutes. Boy, that's strong. I want, I want to say that again. He not only gave them an abundance, he not only gave them more than enough, he not only proved who he was in his ability to bless, but he, he did it in a matter of moments, and the governor of the feast said it was the best wine. Now, like I told you, I'm not a, a drinker. I don't know much about wine, but I do remember when I was a kid, my neighbors, uh, Johnny Schober's dad, made muscadine wine, and we always tried to get into it and mess with it, but we got into it in the process of the fermentation when it wasn't completed and it was nasty, man, it made us bad sick because you don't drink it until the process is completed, which takes two years for red wine, muscadine wine or something like that. And Jesus did it instantly. It only took him a matter of moments. So from the time that those guys picked up the wine, a water, and took it to the governor of the feast, it was miraculously turned into the best wine. Woo, hallelujah. You see, if you need to pay your rent today, if you need to pay your power bill today, and they're going to cut it off if you don't, or you're going, or, or they're going to start proceedings if you don't, you, you don't need a miracle next week. You don't need a miracle next year. Well, Jesus was showing us, glory be to God, that he can do whatever you need and he can do it now. He can do it today. You know, if your body's not feeling well, if you've got a symptom on your body, you don't need healing next year. You don't need to wait till some evangelist comes to town. You need it now. Well, God is the God of the now. Boy, I'm going to get back on this tomorrow. You talk about exciting now. This is exciting that he did this miracle in a matter of moments that in the natural would have taken two years. So God's there with you. He'll get you out of that mess. And today is your day of salvation. Have a great day. Remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.